Let's try just a bry off it. Whoa, what was that? Definitely wasn't a bry. Bruh, I'm doing an umbrella. There! That's how you do it. Okay, we're back, boys. I definitely didn't forget how to bry flip for a second there. Okay, today's video is starting off on a much better note than last video, and that is because I got my bars a lot earlier than I thought I would, so freaking strap, really. If you guys haven't been up to date on the last videos, I broke my Mach 1 bars. As you can see, they're snapped right there. Uh, I am going to probably cut these down just to have them as a backup, but I ordered some Dryad bars. They weren't supposed to come for like four more days, but I'm definitely not complaining, so we got them right here. We're going to put them on the scooter and test them out today, but getting on bars is always a little annoying because you have to switch the grips from one pair of bars to the other so I'm gonna try to do that right now I get to use my neochrome clamp again because these are oversized bars so that's gonna work but first things first let's get these stupid grips switched from these bars to these bars oh god I forgot I like actually jammed these freaking bar ends in eh. there we go Ugh. Okay, got the bar ends out. Getting them off is usually easy. I'm gonna try the like roll them, roll them on, or roll them off, roll them on technique. This has never worked for me before, so I'm probably gonna have to resort to getting them wet, which is kind of annoying because then they're wet until you dry them, but mm, this sucks. Mm. <coughs> Good lord. <laughs> I can't even get them off, and that's the easy part. <laughs> yes, I got one off. That was really hard. Number two, please be easier than your brother over there. <laughs> oh wait, you're harder. Ow, this is sharp, it's stabbing my leg. Okay, I have to muster all my strength. This is the one. <laughs> Come on! <sighs> Hell yeah. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna roll them back on. They rolled off pretty bad anyway, so I'm just go straight to the water technique because I don't want to have to struggle a bunch. I'd rather just have to get them unwetted. All right, well, time to go get these wet. Swiggity swoogity back at it again with the wet gripperoonie. Now this part will be easy, but it'll suck to actually like Get them so you can ride them again. Let's just kind of pound this on here. Alright. That's on there. It kind of moves a little bit. Freaking strategy. Now get the bu what the I don't think that's good. That the bar end can just fall out. Um, wait, let me try the ones from the Prodigy. They shouldn't, like, be different, though, right? Well, I guess they are, because that one worked. Okay, a little bit of a bar end switcheroo, and we're good. Except for the fact we have maximum throttle grip. Well, this is taking forever, so I'm just gonna cut to when I figure something out. This is not working. I think we might just have to wait a little bit and kind of let them dry naturally, but I'm going to still put the bars on the scooter for now and then we're going to go do the Tramp Scoot New Learn. Dude, bar spin master. These bars are hella light. I mean, I guess that's kind of the point of them. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to fix the compression Ugh, so that it's not clicking like an idiot anymore. Okay, so... Scythe plays called me a half bar double whip to backdrop. Uh, I just did a bar double whip because I hadn't even done that, so I hope that's okay, but thank you for the trick. So now I'm going to go to GoPro and test out the new bars. So I'm not 
gonna be going too crazy. I think I am gonna bring out this little ramp again, but in the future I want to do a full video where I do some better tricks on it, but I'm just gonna be using it today to test out the new bars on like some tricks that I can't really do flat, so I'll get a little bit more air for that, but I'm gonna hopefully soon film like a full video on the homemade ramp and try to get some better tricks on it, but for now, let's just go and try to test out those bars. Okay, so the main point of this video is to be like a first look video, and the very first thing I notice is that the bars are lighter, which does make bar spins like easier, like this, and oh yeah. Bar spin flat feels really nice, but another thing I did notice is if I push on them like this, push on them back and forth, they do like flex a little bit. It's nothing crazy, but if any of you have had dryad bars for like a while, uh, let me know down in the comments if that's normal, because I'm assuming that since they're just lighter, they can flex, but they won't actually snap because of that. But yeah, if you guys know about that, or if that like happens to you, you should let me know in the comments if you guys have had or have these bars at the moment. Or if that's not supposed to happen, then I'll try to do some troubleshooting and figure it out. But let's just do some flat tricks here really quick, and then we'll bring out the ramp, do a couple of tricks off that, and we'll just see how these bars feel. Oppo bar. Ooh. I suck at those, but just a tail whip here. Double whip. Oh, geez. My grips are still wet. I forgot about that. There we go. I even caught that one a little bit. Heel whippage. Let's see if we can get a double heel. Sometimes I can land this trick, sometimes I can't. It always just depends, but hopefully this is the day that I can. Oh, maybe. Boom, clean. Okay, I'm gonna get a finger up and then I'm gonna see if I can get a kickless. Oh, I don't know how I landed that. The deck was like backwards. My knee was like wrapped around the bar. That sucked big time. There we go. We got it good. And I can tell it was good because my hand hurts really bad right now. All right, now we start trying kickless. Whoa. Okay, I didn't really expect kicklesses to feel that different, but they definitely felt different. I'm doing the Raymond Warner kickless, where it's like a full tail whip and then, I eh. wonder if it'll be easier if I go from here. Oh, there, that was more of an Owen kickless. This is the one. I'm gonna commit to this one, no matter what. Oh. That didn't work. Well, see, I committed, but like, I forgot the deck actually has to be under your feet for that to work. Boom. I think about 5% of my feet were on that one. Yes, got it. Okay, so I set up the ramp here. It's just this little homemade ramp that I made. I've done a video on it before, and as I said, I'm going to do one on it again, hopefully soon, but I don't want to mix the two videos because I want to make this video just focusing on the bars. So far, just after a flat session, they feel nice. As I said, the, the bar spins are a bit faster. It is a little bit different to ride with lighter bars in like, I don't know, like that kickless felt kind of weird, but yeah, overall they feel good. I'm slightly worried about like the flexing thing that I was talking about in the beginning, but as I said, comment below, help me out with that. But other than that, they feel pretty sturdy. It's not like a huge issue. So hopefully this ramp still holds up. I don't really remember how I set it up last time. Ramp, please don't kill me. That was just the test jump. Obviously that was really stupid, but the ramp works. Let's do a little test. I want to do a bar spin as fast as I can on flat. Whoa, do like throw bar like thing. I forget how I used to get good speed for this. Did I like run next to it or did I just push? I feel like I ran next to it from like right over here. Just kind of went like this. That seems about right. Let's try just a bry off it. Whoa, what was that? Well, I don't know exactly what that was, but definitely wasn't a bry. Bruh, I'm doing an umbrella. There! That's how you do it. Okay, we're back, boys. I definitely didn't forget how to bry flip for a second there. What the, my wheel is really kind of not aligned very well. Hey, you stairs, help me out here. 
that didn't work. Stairs, you suck. Let's try a bar whip. This will be a new learn for me. I've done a whip bar. I don't know, it involves a bar spin and we're, we're testing out these bars. So that makes sense. That'll work. Um, I think I want to try to relearn three whip off this. Okay, that's chill. So now we got a whip. Ah, that was close. Ooh, that couldn't have been good for my wheels. Sorry, wheels. There it is. We got it. Should we try an inward? This one was really hard, but I don't know. Let's see if I can do it. Whoa. Okay, yeah. We can do that. Okay, I definitely can do that. This try. Let's go. I did it. Let's jump this backwards. Oh my God. Oh! Kickerous. It's a bit underwhelming since I just landed one flat, but hey, whatever. I wonder if I can just like 180 off and then land and flip back around. Oh my God, that's scary. Okay, that time I wasn't going fast enough. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Boom. I'm gonna try to whip finger up this because I remember that was pretty fun last time. Can we go to fakie? Oh boy. Wow, very much talent. Okay, let's get a nice little trip whip. This one should be easy. Then I think that'll be it. Yeah, that one was pretty easy. All right, I think that's it for the riding. That was a good session, the bars are nice, and that's gonna end off this video. Okay, I apologize that I'm a bit sweaty. It looks like it's cloudy, I mean it is cloudy, but it's still pretty hot outside, so I don't know, whatever. That was my first look at the Ethic Dryad bars. I really like them so far, I haven't really put them like to a durability test yet, but as long as they last for a decent amount of time, then I'd say they're really good bars, they feel nice. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.